is called an F string. Okay, so string formatting with an F string, very similar. You'll see some real similarities, but there's one key difference that I, uh, that I like. And that is that it's much simpler. All I'm doing is printing that string. It's not a string method. All I'm doing is putting an F in front of this, in front of the first quote of that string. And by putting that F there, I make it an F string or a formatted string. And it will automatically take this, look for a variable that is named that and put that thing there. Look for a variable and put that thing there. So I don't know why it says str age. That doesn't make sense. Let me fix that right now. There we go. So that is why I would prefer an F string. And let me show you how that would work differently than this. Okay, so we'll keep the same variables here. And let's say I want to just print those two variables. So all I need to do is print, put an F at the beginning of this, and Let's just chop that down so we can see the whole thing. So look at this. The thing that I like about this is if I take that off, you can see it's a string. All of the characters are green. And then if I put the F in front of it, it highlights the variable slots for me. It makes it real visible. That's something that PyCharm does for me automatically. So it recognizes that I'm doing an F string here. And that's it. There's no string formatting. There's no matching terms. I don't really have to worry too much about this because all, all I'm doing is saying we're using the actual variable name to put it right there and right there. I know exactly. I'm looking at this and I'm reading it and I can see exactly what it is I'm doing without any question. So when I run that, it, it, it works just fine. And int age can be anything. It doesn't matter what kind of variable it is. It doesn't matter what kind of variable this is. I can also, if I don't want to print this right away, you can also assign an F string to a variable. So if, if sometime down the road I want to print that, now I can print that. anytime I want, or I can reuse that, or I can analyze that string. So there's a lot of flexibility and power, and this is a lot easier than using the string.format method. You should know what the string format method is, but I highly recommend using an F string.